What is going on YouTube? Lex Express checking in with the game review for Batman Arkham Knight. Check out my gaming channel. We'll have some gameplay of Batman Arkham Knight on there. Link in the description down below. I'm going to start the review by saying why I give this game a 10 out of 10. Yes, I give this game a 10 out of 10 because I think it's the best in the series and I am including Arkham Origins. I did love Arkham Origins. I say that in every Batman related video because a lot of people had problems with that game. They didn't enjoy it as much as the other ones in the Arkham series, but I absolutely love that game and my opinion is what matters at this point, right? So, Arkham Knight. Was it predictable at times? And the predictability was only referring to the Arkham Knight himself. I'm not going to spoil this for anybody because I want you guys to enjoy this game for yourself. Do I think this is a $60 game? Yes, it is. There is so much to do in this game aside from the main story that it's ridiculous. The story does wrap up the series in a very nice fashion. And I salute Rocksteady for doing such a crazy epic game. This was as flawless as it's gonna get. No game is perfect. Batmobile, they did it so right. They included in missions. Sketchy part about it was when it became a tank. You know, sometimes when you're doing missions, it does get annoying and it does get, you know, irritating. But I didn't find myself getting stuck too often because everything is so fluid. The combat system with the tank. And off the tank, we already know the combat system for Batman has always been awesome. I thought overall this game was nothing but a grand slam. I enjoyed it from beginning to end. I beat the story. I'm still doing the side missions. I've invested over 20 hours of entertainment into this game. And it was just a lot of fun. I, I, words can't describe how much I enjoyed this game. And as I mentioned, the predictability is there. But there is other twists and things to look forward to. Arkham Knight is not the only thing you know about this game and i'm not going to dive into the story for the only reason that i do not want to spoil it for my viewers because i think that everyone should enjoy this game just as much as i did to be honest there are so many characters in this game you know poison ivy the penguin two-face scarecrow you know the arkham knight we got a couple robins in there we got alfred deathstroke makes an appearance we have so many cameos it was just awesome uh catwoman the riddler i love the way that you rotate between characters when you're fighting you know with batman and robin you know the double teaming sequences were awesome doing it with catwoman was pretty cool even doing the pre-order story pack which is only one mission for harley quinn it was also enjoyable because you also uh, get to see uh, how it feels like to use another character during a mission. And when you use these different characters, whether it's Robin, Catwoman, Harley Quinn, or whatnot, you do feel the difference between each character, and I thought that was really, really cool to see. But at least you guys know why I gave it a 10 out of 10. I feel like the, the larger map, the graphics, the mechanics, the Batmobile, the characters that they did, the story, Everything fit so well. It was such a gem. All of them have been enjoyable. All of them, all of them have been a fantastic ride. Rocksteady nailed the series. And this story is definitely definitive. It definitely ends the series. But it wraps it up in such a nice way. It was definitely the icing on the cake. Presentation, cutscenes, graphics, the next gen feel. Everything was there. I just I couldn't ask for more to be honest. This game was everything I expected wanted and much more so yeah youtube that is all for this quick review just wanted to sum up my experience with the batman franchise and arkham knight like i said i wouldn't spoil it for you guys and you guys gotta go out and get it right now i'm telling you thanks for watching peace